Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Under the rules of MMA in the 135-pound weight division and is presented by Breckenridge Distillery. First, fighting out of the SMG red corner, please welcome Mario Maito Rodriguez. Mr. Mario Rodriguez making his way to the cage for this 135 pound MMA fight. Another fighter out of a family affair boxing. Uh, this one hailing from Thornton, Colorado. And I had to ask actually a Hispanic friend what Pitazo uh, style was. And he said that basically is just a slang way of saying hits. Right? So, uh, you know, you'd say like it gave somebody three patazos. So I, I guess he plans on going in here and uh, boxing a little bit. I'm not sure. Well, you know, if you're locked in the cage fighting another guy, hitting him is not a bad strategy. Yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> he comes in here three and four record in MMA, one and one boxing at 23 years old. Wow. What a lot of experience for a 23 year old fighter. It is. And his opponent, fighting out of the Fowler Jeep of Boulder Blue Corner, please welcome to the cage, Beck, the last Boy Scout Shields. And this is Beck Shields, the one that I said that I actually commentated for when I um, worked for Blue Corner in Kansas City, Missouri. Two and two entering the cage, and he's only 17 years old. You know, something oh, I don't like gracious. hearing is the boost from the crowd. You yeah. know, that's kind of sad, especially when Agreed. he's 17, coming yeah. in here doing what he can, you know? 17 year old will come to us with a bit of a height advantage as he is six foot versus Rodriguez of 5'8". Of course, they both made the 135 pound limit and fairly close in uh, record there with three and four for Rodriguez versus the two and two versus Shield. So Shield's looking to take it up above the 500 mark. Yeah, and Shield looked like he would be the hometown boy, I would think from Green River, Wyoming, but yes, maybe indeed. that's not that close. Always have liked how Sparta has incorporated a lot of the military and stuff like that within their oh, sports. Oh, for certain. So it looks like the uniformed gentleman there just to help Mr. Shields make his way to the cage. Mm -hmm. Supporting him That's in any way he can. Great. A lot of respect shown by the young man there. Ladies and gentlemen, this bantamweight bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds under the rules of MMA. First, MMA. fighting out of the SMG red corner. He represents a family affair boxing, fighting out of Thornton, Colorado. Give it up for Mario. Maito Rodriguez! <laughs> and his opponent, he's Diaz fighting style. out of the Fowler Jeep of yeah. the Blue Looks Corner, <laughs> representing Shields Combat Club, fighting out of Green River, Wyoming. Please welcome back the last Boy Scout, Shields! So Beck will have a reach advantage, I would assume, a six foot versus five eight coming out of right, Shields dude, Combat we'll Club here. Back. Touch him up, we're gonna do it right now and come out banging, let's go. Both respectful, ready for an exciting match. Now one thing I will say that's brave of uh, Beck is wearing that brace on his knee. Yeah, showing the opponent the joint. Exactly. 
when I do that, I would rather put them on all my elbows and all my knees. There you, you know? go. Do you need them or not? Nice jump kick there. Yeah. The shield showing that he has that, that athleticism. Don't see that often. Got to cover his face, though, as he's backing up. Ooh. Nice teeth kick from Rodriguez. Barely misses. <laughs> Shield's head there. Shield says, I can do that, too. Shield's looking mad in there. <laughs> Using that link with those teeth. Nice head. Slip. Good uppercuts by Rodriguez. Yeah, but Shield's done a good job of kind of moving Ooh. his head from there. Stabbing knees by both fighters. Both landed very well with their knee strikes. Rodriguez just moving forward. Stalking shields. Shields doing a good job kicking those inside and outside legs. Yeah, that last leg kick landed nice and solid. Using those kicks. Once again, moving that head just in time. Oh, gosh, your head's there. Boy, Rodriguez stepped into that. Oh, oh wow. I thought he was going for a knee. Oh, my but he goodness. gets the jumping this triangle. This would be unheard wow. of if he does this. Just flew right into the triangle. It looks tight, too. Oh, good Mario shot there. Just, oh, my goodness. Oh, there's oh, Jack. Wow. She opened a flying triangle. And Rodriguez, wow. I don't think Well, he just beautifully set it up looking like it was a knee strike. I mean, he literally used the knee strike as a bait for wow. a triangle I want to see that replay real quick. That was incredible. All right, stop talking for this. We'll see. He goes for the, yep, you're right, knee. And, and almost didn't have that arm, but he's able to use that underhook to grab it. Yeah, he pulled that knee back. Showed it like I'm going for a big knee strike. And you saw uh, Mario giving the thumbs up to the ref, and then he starts to just fade right here. You see him wow. trying to punch out of it. Shields rocking it to the side. And nice you see him tap. done by the young Mr. Shields. Well played, sir. Congratulations on that. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eric Hines has called it's a stop to this bout real for a while. at one minute and 40 seconds into round number one for your winner by triangle, Beck, the last Boy Scout Shield. Well, there we go, five fans, submission of the year winner right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. That was, yeah, he's going to be living that one up for a while. It's funny how uh, straight-faced his quarters are. I don't know <laughs> if they're like, I can't believe you did that <laughs> or what. <laughs> you know, it... Upon watching the replay, it looks like a practiced move. Yeah, it definitely so I, did, I you think, know? Yeah. With wow. the fake, like you said, and everything, right. that really was very good. Just well done. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, the last Boy Scout, Beck old. Shields. Who are these gentlemen in the ring with you? Well, right here, this is my dad and my pretty much brother's dad. I consider him my second dad, but my main coach right there. And that's my taking right there. Sorry, man. <laughs> so quite a Mark thrilling Lindbergh match. Talks. Little elusive. Then you started using your jujitsu. Was that the game plan? Was to come in and try and use some striking to set up the jujitsu, or were you just playing it by ear? Oh, uh, actually, yeah. I uh, my plan didn't work 100% of the way, but that's why we adjust. I uh, I was planning to come through and work a little bit, then go down to the ground and finish it down there. But what happened happened. Excellent. And uh, tell us a little bit about these gentlemen in uniform come down to ringside with you tonight. They're the Marines that uh, actually stationed here in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. And... <laughs> For all the 13 that died over there in Afghanistan, I'm here supporting them. And they're right here on my back. Very touching gesture. Thank you very much. You looked excellent out there. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Beck Shields. Wow, what an amazing display of talent by the young Mr. Beck Shields. Look forward to seeing more out of that young man. Fantastic performance.